Newcastle is a city in the north of England on the River Tyne. With its twin city, Gateshead, it presents itself as a brimming destination of eclectic culture, thriving businesses, and visionary regeneration projects. And talking about visionary regeneration projects, you've got the Hulux, which is the 350 million pound investment within the city, which combines arts, culture, science, and education into one uh, of the biggest urban development centers within the UK. In addition to that, you'll have over 1.1 million people who live within 30 minutes of the city itself. And then you have over 100,000 students who live within Newcastle and the surrounding areas. And you have 13 billion pounds which is contributed to the UK G. And with its airport only 20 minutes away from the city centre, connecting you to over 85 destinations around the world, Newcastle presents itself as a city in the north that's well connected. But on top of that, you've got 12.5 million pounds which has gone into digital infrastructure to give Newcastle one of the fastest broadband suites within the country as well as free Wi-Fi within the city centre. Let's go and check out the city and explore the town and see what kind of property deal you can find. Newcastle is a city that is experiencing a renaissance of its own. But in comparison to the other cities in the north, such as Manchester and Leeds, it is quite early in its property cycle. However, it has tremendous demand as the population has grown by 12% over the past couple of years. And according to the housing market assessment, 2017, the city needs to build at least a thousand homes per year over the next 15 years to just keep up with demand, which means that there is plenty of opportunity within Newcastle to soak up that demand by creating new houses, but as well as converting old disused buildings into accommodation that can be taken up by people who are moving into the city. According to statistics, the city has experienced over 224% growth in property values over the last 20 years. And that growth has continued and over the past five years, the city has continued to experience a growth of over 20% in property prices. What you have in Newcastle is a city that is able to offer investors a low entry point with housing prices being found from as low as 40,000 within some of the suburbs around the city, which means that if you are looking for a bargain and a high yield investment, Newcastle is one of the best cities to invest. It only lags behind Liverpool as one of the highest yielding cities within the United Kingdom. So what we want to do is go out there and we're gonna look at some buildings as well as some properties that you can actually experience that yield and see what the city has to offer. But I would certainly say the city is undervalued because you have properties that you cannot rebuild for the same price that you are buying them off. So if you are interested in getting in on a low entry point and use a low entry point strategy, Newcastle is certainly a city for you. Newcastle offers 68 postcodes to invest in with a wide range of investments. Depending on the strategy you have, whether you're investing in capital gains or a strong yield, you have a variety of investments you can invest in from student accommodation, HMOs to single family homes. So in this next segment, we're going to talk about some of the neighborhoods and areas you can invest in property in your cost. One of the locations to invest in is certainly is the city center. Uh, it has so much great demand from working professionals as well as students. You have to remember Newcastle is one of the few city centers that actually have a river that goes right through. So any property that has a view of the Tyne Bridge as well as Quayside, you will be able to make a great return from that particular property as a buy to let. But otherwise, there is a wide range of new blocks and particular properties that have been converted that are on the market the average house price within the city center is at 240000 So you can have a look, uh, but there are still deals that can be found way above the average price. 
The second area to consider is Jasmine, which is a suburb close to the city center. It offers a mixed range of accommodation from student accommodation as well as good family homes. So if you are looking for maybe uh, doing a property strategy where you buy bigger houses and turn them into HMO or plots, this is a great area because you will still attract a high income in the Newcastle area as well as this is one of the areas where you are likely to get the highest capital growth over the coming years because of its proximity to the city center, its attractiveness to working families as well as students. So it offers you a bit of uh, the best of both worlds. So consider Jasmine as an area to invest if you want to have a good, strong, secure income. The third place we are going to look at is West Newcastle, uh, which consists of Benwell, Fenham, as well as Scottsdale. This is one of the cheapest areas within the city, matter of fact, one of the cheapest areas within the whole country, uh, with an average property price of £70,000. There are bargains to be had, but with a word of caution, you really have to know the streets and they have to know the areas, because there are some areas and some streets you don't want to get involved in, but if you can find the right streets and deals which are positioned in neighborhoods that are up and coming, you can actually secure bargains that you cannot get anywhere else within the country. And that leads me to the next segment where we're going to look at some deals that you can actually get within Newcastle and see where your money can actually work for you and what it can bring in terms of yield as well as capital gain. So in this segment, we are going to look at some deals within Newcastle and see how what you can actually get in terms of bargains as well as uh, good investment properties within the city itself. And behind me is a property which is in Benway. Remember, it's the area that I mentioned has the cheapest properties potentially in the country. And this is one great example. It is a three bedroom flat as well as a two bedroom flat on the ground floor. So you're looking at two properties on one side and we bought this property at £63,000 at auction and we spent about £40,000 on it and it's now worth £35,000. And we've done all the works within a space of about six weeks uh, that consisted of ripping everything that was within those units. As you can see from the pictures, from the before and after pictures, it was literally a wreck and we had to strip everything back to brick. But within the space of time, we had to do this refurb and the amount of appreciation we got from uh, the refurbishment, it was a project worthwhile and it actually generates an income of about a thousand pounds per month. That's just an example of what type of a deal you can get in an area like Banwa. But let's also look at other areas like the city centre. City centre purpose-built block consisting of 46 bedrooms for sale completed in 2017. St James's View is one of Newcastle's most prominently positioned buildings in the city centre. Successfully rented out since launch, the building is attractive to both the student and professional market. It is made up of a mixture of studios, four bedroom and five bedroom apartments. The building has had 100% occupancy since launch and is currently fully led for the upcoming academic year. Offers in excess of 3 million are to be considered. The property receives an income of over 300,000, offering a gross yield of over 10%. It is located in St. James's Street, close to St. James's Park, the home of Newcastle United. Both Northumbria and Newcastle University are only within easy reach and it is also close to the shopping facilities, bars and restaurants within Newcastle City Centre. If you're interested in a ground up development, check out this piece of land near Waterside Park. It is an excellent and unique development opportunity with planning consent for four impressive detached homes. It is in a highly sought after residential area with an approximately half an acre level site. Uh, it is right close to the waterside. Uh, you just have to go and do your own development appraisal and assess what type of gains you'll be able to gain from this particular site but it's well positioned in a nice residential area uh, that has a, other similar large semi-detached and detached executive homes. 
So there you go. Those are all the different deals you can find within Newcastle. I hope this video has informed you about the city and what it has to offer. And if you are to make an investment within the city, remember, do your due diligence. Come down and actually visit the city and get to know what area you are investing or work with an agent who is well informed and who can guide you and make sure that you are investing in the right places and taking advantage of what the city has to offer. Otherwise, like and comment below so that we know that you want more videos like this. Subscribe and we'll see you next time.